Hi, this video is to help you navigate if you're being injured by your baby during breastfeeding because they are pulling at your skin, grabbing at your skin, or trying to dig into you. So they're turning their hand or their foot into a solid wedge and pushing. There's a couple of different reasons why they might be doing it. And so a couple of different potential solutions. The very first one and the easiest one to try out, they might just feel like, oh, I, I'm not feeling fully supported. I feel like I could roll away. And so just like a climber going up a wall, trying to find a good handhold so that they don't fall off the wall, they're doing the same thing with your skin. And so you can just double check their top shoulder and see, is there any reason why they might feel like their shoulder could roll away from you? They're trying to stabilize themselves. If that's the case, just adjust your support so that the shoulder is definitely supported. And you can also increase the amount of surface area on their body that you are covering with your arms and hands. If they feel supported and they stop grabbing at you, that's all it was. Problem solved. Life goes on. So really easy to fix. Another reason why they might be doing it is because they want to snuggle, they want to cuddle, they want to get so close to you um, that they're trying to pull themselves in or wedge themselves into your body. Um, they want to snuggle. This does not feel like snuggling for us. This just feels like you are hurting me. And if anything, we want them off of us when they do that. So how to preserve your breastfeeding relationship and that snuggle time. Here we go. Uh, you can adjust so that you're getting more skin to skin contact. If you were feeding and you're dressed and baby's in a jumper, you can change things up a little bit by taking them out of their jumper or exposing more of your skin. Take off your shirt, climb under a blanket together. If you're able to give them that skin to skin bonding time and they have their snuggle battery being recharged, then that can be enough to get the pulling to stop. If during breastfeeding is not the ideal time to be exposing more of your skin to each other to get that snuggle, um, just because of where you are or the timing of it, whatever. Um, if you can't do it during breastfeeding, See if you can find other opportunities to recharge their snuggle battery. Um, taking a shower together is a great way to do that. You've got full skin to skin contact, warm, soothing water. Babies love that. Um, or as a general rule, I found that they love it. Um, another thing is just taking a look for other opportunities to strip down and snuggle together, take a nap together, or if you're going to watch a TV show, you know, put them across your chest underneath that blanket again. And if you recharge their little snuggle batteries, then it's possible with that full charge that when they go to breastfeed, they don't feel that need to try and draw, pull, or wedge themselves into you. Otherwise, if baby is simply testing out their strength, because babies are awesome, they're just enjoying, look what I can do, and my hands can do this, and my arms can do this, and it's just exciting for them. Um, if you're simply having to teach them that, you know what, I'm proud of you too, I love that your body is capable of being so strong like that, but no, you are not allowed to hurt me while you enjoy your strength. If you're having to just teach a behavior modification, a couple of options for you. When they grab and pull, you can jump, do a little startled jump. And if they realize that the world shakes every single time they do that, if that's unpleasant for them, then it can teach them to stop. You can use the words, ow, no, you tell them to stop and it's your tone of voice that helps communicate, I don't like that. You can use your words telling your baby, I do not like that, you need to stop. And don't fall for the whole, they're just a baby, they don't understand. No, you're laying out language foundations here. Um, even if they don't fully understand all the words, they still get that when they hear that tone of voice pieced together with those particular noises, those particular sounds, it generally means mommy's not happy. And so you can say, no, I do not like that. You need to stop. And, and that's helping, that's contributing towards modifying the behavior. You can do time out. So if they've pulled and grabbed at you again or wedged and pushed into you again, you can set them down, do a five minute time out. If they learn, oh, every time I do that, the breast is taken away, that can help to modify the behavior. And one more is a physical response, and that's if they've pulled at you, then you can use a nip because the offending limb is the hand that's grabbing and pulling. It's the back of the hand that you do a nip for. So you're just sort of grabbing a hold of a little bit of the skin. You're not pinching, you're not twisting, you're not injuring your child. That's not what we're aiming for. We're just aiming for a physical response of, hey, little nip, hey, bud. No, I do not like it. This hand, this body part that I am grabbing a hold of at the moment, this is what I don't like. Because if we're just saying, no, I don't like that, they may have no idea what we're talking about. So if your baby just isn't understanding, that's okay. Using that physical response can help them to specify and grab, oh, it's what this hand is doing that mommy doesn't like. This is the hand that needs to stop. So those little nips can come in really handy. 
Um, so grabbing and pulling definitely is not comfortable. It can result in bruising. It can lead to scratching if your baby has long fingernails at the time. It's not pleasant. So I hope with that information that I just provided, that helps to improve the situation for you and supports your breastfeeding journey with your baby. So hope it's helpful. All the best. Bye.